What's up, everybody? Jeff with Team Wops Cat. I'm down here doing a little pre fishing this morning. Uh, figured I'd make a quick video on my live well. I was fishing the tournament about a month ago. Didn't have it bolted down. Got to the tournament and it had blew out and tore the back of my boat all to pieces. Luckily, a buddy of mine was coming down the road and I lost it about five miles away from my house. Traveled about 68 or 69 miles to the tournament. So luckily he found it. I had to rebuild the whole thing. Just give y'all a quick look at what I did. Um, this is it. It's the same box I had before. It's just an old truck toolbox. Um, I had to do a lot of straightening. I bent it and beat it all to crap when it flew out. Um, there's a console to my boat where it busted my windshield. And, uh, but what I did this time was, you can see right here, I bolted it down to the floor on both sides. I've got an inlet come in right there. I put a thousand gallon hour bilge and the motor pod on the back of my pontoon. I've got my drain over here. Um, so I've got water con constantly coming in out there. Some perch in there right now that I caught earlier for bait. I've got two oxygen diffusers in there, bubble stones. Um, back here, I mounted my tank on the back with an old fire extinguisher mount for a, like a, on a wall. I run at half a liter a minute and I just open that drain right there and it's dumping straight down out of the bottom of the boat. So they're getting fresh water all the time. I've had good luck with that so far. And like I said, I keep bait in there too when I'm out fishing bait fishing and catch perch instead of hauling a bait tank around I just throw them in there so that's a quick update on my live well what I did thanks guys